Good morning. It's 4.30 and I'm pumped. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so we're hunting today. We're going to Camp Pendleton and it is raining out. It is raining out right now, which is something I'm actually looking forward to for some reason. It's not like a, like a horrible downpour or anything like that, but it's definitely like a, a solid, solid rain, like a good, a good rain right now, which we haven't gotten in a long time in Southern California. I think the news said, said since like April or something, which is crazy, but making some coffee, going to get dressed. I got a little man. He may or may not come. I don't know, but I'm um, looking forward to it. Hopefully the rain doesn't keep the deer uh, bedded throughout the day. Obviously, I know it depends on like how hard the rain is falling, which will determine that for the deer. But at the moment, I don't think it's that hard yet. So hopefully they come out to play today and hopefully we finally punch that tag. All right, see you guys there. This weekend is a rifle only um, lottery. So for all the other hunters, like the um, archers, I guess, I don't know if shotgun count or small game hunters. So small game hunters and archers, we have to do this thing again at zero five which we have to log on to this website, as you've seen me do in the past, and get this spot. There are an okay amount, all the primary locations that we like to hunt are open. So hopefully we get it. I'm going for the same area I've been hunting just because I know what's up over there. But here we go, about 30 seconds. All right, 48. All right, we're in, here we go, here we go. Hop, all right, I'm in, Mike. No guests. Yes, I accept. Confirm, oh my God, I almost hit cancel. Woo! We're in, baby. We're in, oh my God. Oh God, I almost hit cancel. My heart's literally racing. All right, let's get out of here. All right, everybody, we just arrived in our spot. Oh, side note, cool thing about this bino harness, it comes with a little rain cover for your um, range finder. We gonna be need, we, get, we gonna be needing to use that today. Jesus, I talk. So I'm gonna try to say something. You've always hunted, you've seen me here most of the time. And I know some people are like, why don't you explore a new spot? So I've explored a lot of Camp Pendleton and I've never seen so many deer concentrated in this one area. And then, you know, it's coming down to like one of my last hunts. This could be the last one. It's either this or one more for sure. Like for sure, for sure. And like, why would I not hunt here? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know the deer are here. I know there are does here. I know there's a, a couple beautiful bucks that are just waiting to be eaten by me and Jacob. So Jacob's the cameraman right now, by the way. Hello. <clears throat> okay, so we're gearing up. We're getting everything set up. Temperature is 48 degrees. We got rain throughout the day, which is which I said already. I'm kind of excited for. And um, shooting light is, is in about 10 minutes, and sunrise is in about you know 40 minutes or something like that. All right, let's get this bad boy all set up and hopefully we see some deer. All right, everybody. So, Jaron found a buck. I found Grandma. You guys remember Grandma? The deer with the, all, the doe with the white head? We found her too. But then we found another buck, which is a lot more stalkable. So, I'm gonna make an approach on him. I'm comfortable shooting out to 85 now also. So, that opens up the, the, the window. No. Okay, all right, here we go. Right, a little bit of an update. The, uh, the game warden drove by and reminded us that we had to put our, um, our little passes on the dashboard to make sure we weren't like trespassing. And then in that process of uh, going back to the car real quick and put them on, putting them on the dashboard, we lost the buck. But grandma's still out and about. Wind's perfect. She's super alert though. Looks like I could get a stock. So I might drive around over there and make that happen. I don't know yet. She does have a fawn or a yearling, but might make the exception for her. <laughs> ah, 
That's how it goes sometimes. The sun is out. Rain's come down. Making a play on grandma. Jaren said she thinks she, he thinks she's about like 10 years old. Here we go. Oh my god, I just shot her. I don't even know how far she was, but she's literally 30 yards. I think I, I, think I got her right in the face. I really, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Oh, she's still moving. Oh, she's kicking the arrows in her. Okay. All right. Um, got Cody with me. A Jacob with me. None of this would have happened without Jaron. Cam's with us. You guys have seen him. All right, Jaron, I'm going to put you in this picture with me. All right, so was it a good shot? It was a good shot. Okay. No meat wastage. No meat wasted. So when I hit it, it dropped immediately. Okay? Immediately. And um, when I drew back, my peep was messed up. So I kind of had to like do the one eye thing. But it's a grandma doe. We're going to move her so you guys can get a better view of her. But she dead, boys. We did it. We did it. <laughs> All right, the moment you've been waiting for. There she is, guys. There's Grandma. There's Jacob. Hi. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here, you, you sit behind her, and I'll get a video. You tell the story. Okay. Yeah. Once upon a time. Um, all right, so this is Grandma. I mean, I've stalked her before. Cody's filming in. He's actually the reason I didn't get her the first time. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> we, saw, we saw two bucks, so we decided to make a stock on them instead. But um, So what happened was we were glassing all morning, and I think I said earlier that we saw Grandma over here, and then we lost those bucks as the game warden rolled up. So I decided to make a stock on her. I started dropping down, and then um, they split, right? So I come down, the fawn gets me, and then they split. Grandma goes across the way. Grandma goes across the way, and then the fawn went to where Jacob is. And then um, luckily, Jaron here was on top, and he started murping and thrashing, making all these noise. So Grandma knew it wasn't safe going that way, which is pretty crazy. And then, um, what'd you see from your end? Well, I saw you go to that front bush, and then it uh, looked like she was going to the right. So that's why I directed you right. You know, she cut back left, but you made a good call doing that. Cut back right in front of you. What was it? 25 yard shot Yeah, about 28 yards so the messed up thing was which i already said like the peep wouldn't rotate so i was like doing like the one eyed willy thing trying to shoot through and luckily i hit her i mean we're not going to show you because youtube sensitive but i hit her but what do you think right above the shoulder yeah, right above the shoulder right above hard the shoulder shot. hard shot dropped immediately like <laughs> dropped <laughs> she twitched and then cody and cam came brought jacob down and here we are all right guys we're gonna open her up gut her out and bring her up this mountain Let's get after it. Good morning. It is the following morning. And we, get, we got a deer. That's crazy. It's like, there's, a, okay, first, first and foremost, before I continue this, let me apologize for the filming. Man, like, my son, like, isn't the best. <laughs> Cody, you're not the best either. I'm just kidding you guys. The film the film was all over the place as you saw. There wasn't a lot of opportunity to film because everything kind of ha everything happened pretty fast. Like when the doe went across the ridge, which you guys saw, and then from then when she came back, she was right there within like 60 yards almost the entire time. It was just crazy. And one thing I didn't tell you 
is that my range finder at the beginning of the day um, wasn't working. The battery died. We're working, all, we're working for two seasons, and now that I say that, it's probably because the battery died, or probably you know needed to replace it. But luckily, Jaron, the hero of this story, he um, he had an extra range finder and an extra battery, so I just took the battery from his and put it in mine. And here we are with our first first dead deer, first harvested deer, first time I punched a tag, lots of firsts. And then, like unofficial, the game wardens were telling me this is the oldest deer they've ever seen, which is crazy. Like old, old girl barely got any teeth. She, they they aged her at 10 plus years old. That's what they're telling me. And Jaron yet again and Cody were saying that you know, you know. And the wardens were saying that you don't get old as a deer by being dumb. So she's been doing a lot of right things, which is which is crazy. Talk about a stress relief though, right? Like in your first year, like, I feel like I feel like now that I got one, like everything's opened up. Like I'm gonna get one every year, every time I go out. That's what that's like the feeling I'm feeling right now. Obviously that's not true, but I just feel like it's a huge like weight off your shoulders, like to finally get one, put in all the work. It's took taken me, let's see, the amount of hunts I've done before my first harvest. I think that was like 12 this year, 15. Let's just say around 35 hunts. 35 hunts without harvesting an animal. And I finally get to join that club with a bow in one of the hardest places to hunt in the country, Southern California. I don't care what you say, based on statistics, Southern California has one of the lowest harvest rates in the entire country. And I got a deer <laughs> with a bow. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to think back, to look back. You know, and it's funny, as, I'm, as I was sitting there thinking about it, like I kept thinking about like things I could have done better. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shot placement. I mean, shot placing wasn't ideal, but it worked. She dropped right away. So I'm wondering if I chipped her, chipped her spine or something. She dropped right away. I mean, I got those raised tripans, the mechanical ones. She dropped, I'm talking about a yard, if that foot. Took a step, boom, dropped. So I clearly hit her somewhere, saved all the meat. Didn't save the heart meat, so I guess I punched her right there. But yeah, first time processing, first time field dressing, it was just crazy. I know this is like a little long, like a dialogue, but just the feelings after, it's crazy. She's right here in this cooler behind me. I'm gonna attempt to butcher her, never done that. Watch some videos, uh, Cody has butchered plenty. I think Jaren has, but Jaren flew back home to get his deer. Yeah, pretty crazy. All right, guys, well, that's it. That is officially, that is officially my last hunt of the year. I don't know when you're gonna see this. By the time you see this, it's probably like two months past already. <laughs> You'll probably be seeing this in 2021, like January. And you're gonna be like, how are you hunting right now in Camp Pendleton? Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right guys, that's it. Thank you so much, I'm so happy. A hunting slash fishing channel. You know, most, a lot of you guys don't even know I fish because I've been so focused on hunting, but a hunting slash fishing channel that could finally say he's harvested a deer or an animal. All right, and on that note, you guys know the drill. Drop a like, drop a comment, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace!